2015 New York International Auto Show. The war to settle the score. This is the main hall of Jacob Javits. In three days, it will be smelly and packed, filthy child hands, damp and warm with sweat and mucus, outstretched in anticipation and ready to give clear coat the ultimate test. Bloggers have colored hair. Many suits here, yes, black blazers are the order of the day. Bluetooth earbuds are in vogue. How much did Ford have to pay to get their fresh produce section spot at the front of the show? Not just the front, but right at the mouth. You come to the New York International Show proper and BAM! You get Ford right in your face. Reporters write copy on site. No time for reflection or analysis, just rape and pillage press releases. And today's news is yesterday's already, so post it, post it, post it, post it. No time, no time, but always time for pizza. Hey, look, look, it's Dante Hicks from Clerks. He's here. He's blogging to himself. He has a tote bag. He has a mobile device. And here he goes. He's telling you about cars. And oh, God. Oh, God, he said it. He said, as you can see. He said, as you can see. He said the introducing dependent clause, as you can see. No crap, we're watching video, we can see. Dr. Brown! Oh, I lost Dante Hicks. I was distracted by Dr. Brown! I'm back at Ford now, and I can look at an automotive accident. And a tall gringo explains the GT350 to ancient men from the Orient. He shakes his finger at them like a scolding nanny. Oh, I forgot to tell you, all I brought with me was my GoPro, so I'm shooting this all from the hip for stealth. I can't see where it's pointed, so I'm sorry if it's misaligned, but remaining faceless and remaining in the background is an important thing. And TV makeup looks weird without studio lighting. Seating for... Credentialed media only. Damn it. Pretty women. I'm not important enough to talk to you. I'm not brave enough to talk to you. Reporters here are playing video games and Toyota employees cheer them on. That's a good time, says one Toyota person. Well done, sir, says another. This is a McLaren. Heritage. Numbers. Chris Harris. Forza Facts. Downforce. That guy over there, he's filming an iPad show. And here's a reporter with a sideways baseball cap. New Acura NSX guaranteed to raise the value of the old NSX. NSX. NSX jacket, NSX coffee mug, NSX watch, NSX wallet, NSX keychain, NSX toy, NSX Borderlands 2 noise artifact, NSX money clip. Here comes a Fox News cameraman and his video Sherpa. Everybody in the Lincoln exhibit is pretending to be in Mad Men. Look at him. Aw, oh, what's the matter, Infinity? No one care? That's okay, you got a DJ playing for no one. Shit! Briefcase mounted mixer. Oh, I'd podcast the hell out of that. I'm still at Infinity. I'm looking at their huge projected screen, and I imagine it showing nothing but a vacuum pump direction with polished leather barbells, in the classical style, of course. A BMW 2002 draws the attention of a dad reporter with a Nikon Cool Picks point and shoot. I see you every day in Mercedes Benz. I see you every day riding with your friends. An Aisha Tyler type is getting a photo shoot nowhere near any cars and she's holding drumsticks and she's someone's summit girl. This is the Mark Levinson Lexus. It has 19 speakers and this is the Lexus spokesperson. To her, she's doing her job telling automotive journalists about a new luxury car. But to me, this is the best OK Cupid date I've ever been on. So what kind of music do you like? I listen to a lot, this is gonna sound dumb, but I listen to a lot of ska music from like 1970s two-tone. Uh, ska, which is, ska. That's, that's okay. <laughs> Gosh. What's yeah, closest what, what to What was I listening to last night? Oh, that's right, I was listening to ska oh, music. Man. Was... Listen to me babble. Hear the seventh grade awkwardness in my voice. I am in a closed environment with someone out of my league in terms of intellect, maturity, and career success. So I'll just wait for me at Port Authority. 
And I'm oh, like, God. I can't, I can't. I'm like, too many people. Fight or flight kicks in, and it's just flight. I'm just, I'm, yeah. I'm walking, and the head's down, and I'm going. I'm sorry, I'm getting away from cars. No, no, now. it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. New York City. I live here, but New York oh, City yeah? is very overwhelming, and I have lived here for 11 years, and I avoid really? that area like the plague. Really? I do, and I live here, and I don't like that area, so. She was nice. Nicer than I deserved. Anyway, Maserati, no touchy-touchy. Freedom of religion. Positive camber. Review a car already. Okay, fine. Toyota Avalon, the divorce is finalized. Cadillac, Aperture Science, Cadillac. Dub, hella flush. Oh, so strict. The official car of wheel insurance. Kelly Blue Book, the cornerstone of every Craigslist haggler. What's the Kelly Blue Book? Well, the Kelly Blue Book, well, you said it's $5,000. I'm, 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 you can have it below Kelly Blue Book. I got the Kelly Blue Book. Selling things on Parker, and I know the Kelly Blue Book value. <laughs> Honda fuel cell vehicle. Oh, I get it. Electric hydrogen. In the future, no one will have headlights. I'm right next to CNBC. Oh, I have to leave for a second. Have to go back to the press room and get the spare GoPro battery. And there goes mini skateboard action blogger. Welcome to the media center. The dick around room. Okay, here we go. Time for real reporting. Finally, I'm joining Freddie Hernandez from Jalopnik and we're going to Honda's big reveal. And I'm way late. No, no bleacher seating, no nothing. People are packed in. Man smells. I worm my way to the banister side stage for a spot to stand. Can't see much here. Multicolored cubes make white balance impossible. Coldplay type music plays accompanied by power supply buzzing and the projected screen is doing something but I can't see. The cubes blink in time to whatever music video thing is playing and up strolls Honda Man. He's full of business suit and life experience. And he says, this is the year of Honda and he explains this because NSX something something F1 and Honda Jet which is the half-life three of civil aviation. Mr. Executive Vice President of Handshaking says, In every day, this will be an epic civic. Ah! He said epic. He is a distinguished gentleman in his 50s, and some greaseball social media writer made him say epic. He's using the language of a prom committee to hype a sports compact. The reporters aren't writing. They're texting, and others are looking through previous photos on DSLRs. The presentation reveals the only fact I care about. There will be a 1.5 liter VTEC turbo. Good. Great. Yes. You should have led with that fact. That, that's an amazing fact, but you can't lead with that because this is a concept car, and concept means maybe. America will get the Civic Type R. Maybe. The Type R will have a VTEC turbo. Maybe. Can't see, can't see, can't see. These strobe lights are cool. Beastie Boy's intergalactic stagehands pull back some cubes to reveal the Honda Civic Type Maybe. And in strolls the lead designer. Tight jeans, long shoes, and tight jeans, and long shoes, and tight jeans, and long shoes. His name is Guy Moville Brown. Brown? Get the Brown! The Civic's long wheelbase and overall length Good voice. So British. Brown says, Civic goes beyond superficial. A game changer. Civic will finally be sporty. And when he says that, I say out loud, was the SI not sporty? And exactly when I say that, this, this older guy who hasn't talked to me the entire time standing kind of like like two people away from me. He doesn't have a press badge on. He's dressed better than Leo Parente. He's got some chub on him. He turns right to me. The second I say this Civic SI, was the Civic SI not sporty? This guy is suddenly really interested in me really quick. And he comes over to me and he says, you know, we worked really hard on this Civic and I've been in this business for a long time. I'm a lot. I've been at this lot longer than you have. And he's smiling at me but he's smiling like a politician. His face radiates with warm disingenuousness as if he's puckering up for the next baby before the taste of the last one left his lips. No, I wuss out and I talk on this, that, and the other thing because this guy looks money and this guy looks like the type of guy who would use his influence for devious means. 
Anyway, Guy Melville Brown has finished talking, and it's time for the stampede. And here comes the rush, and the cubes are cloth, and the tall are king. At some point, they will allow drones indoors, and then every car reveal will become airborne battle bots. And here comes boyfriend and girlfriend media team. Hmm. Very green, and super smoked windshield, which means the interior isn't done yet. Here we have a Buick Caseta, and the Grand National is not coming back. And here we have a Buick LaCrosse, the Grand National is not coming back. Here is a GM 2.0 liter turbo, which makes 259 horsepower. Now those are Grand National numbers, but the Grand National is not coming back. 2016 Miata. Tractor burr. Frickin' angry headlights. And this MX-5 belongs to a club. Ooh, the Beetle Pod is back. Yes, we're doing this again. Reveal your secrets to me. The secret is the Beetle Fender Edition. What they're selling here, or what they're promoting here, is a Volkswagen Beetle that has speakers from Fender. But Fender doesn't make speakers, they make guitars. So there's some speakers that have the Fender name put on, they're licensed. But you're not supposed to pay attention to that because I see a tattooed punk girl here who does soft drugs and likes the video games you like. The pod shows me a pop punk band, none of them are driving fast beetles, but there is a beetle rolling around in the background well outside the camera lens depth of focus. McLaren again, a car forever brutalized by flash bulbs. A McLaren spokesperson says, it works well in Japan, and I don't know what the context was, but I believe you that a McLaren does work well in Japan. I didn't know it at the time, but Chris Harris was right there. I, d I didn't see him. He didn't see me. Not that I have a face to be seen. And sorry for this name drop, but Freddie Wong told me that remaining faceless from the start was a very good move. It means I can do my work in public and no one notices. And even if they were looking for me, they wouldn't even know what to look for. Except Michael Spinelli noticed me. And he got a kick out of my clipboard. Oh, seriously, I'm hardly even yeah. shooting cars. Dude, you like really? You brought a metal? Is this fucking Clipboard, you're off. Awesome. Look at that. Holy it's a real. What is that? The, the it's clipboard. Money. That's what it is. Clipboard with a fucking camera. There you go. That is how I experienced the 2015 New York International Auto Show.